In this video, I'm gonna share with you one of the biggest errors that players make because they misunderstand how important this is and show you how to fix it. Hello, my name is Tony. Welcome to the Better Pickleball channel where we're dedicated to providing these sort of pickleball tips to you. I am a senior professional pickleball player as well as a master teaching professional. And in this video, I wanna help you correct a big error in your game. Let's go to the board so I can show you the error and how it occurs. And it's a very common error. I was reminded of it this morning playing pickleball. I joined a group of players who were playing and there was a, a question about this particular strategy, this particular thing that the player should have been doing. And the response of the player, and this is very common and not a criticism of this player, was, well, but I was worried about. And that's why if you notice the title of this, of this video is no buts about it. There is no but with this one. This is one of the few rules in pickleball that's an absolute maxim. It's you cannot deviate from this if you want to be successful as a player. And what we're going to be doing is showing you on the board here how it affects you. And, and to, to lay it out for you, the blue team down here with the S's, this is a serve team. The yellow team up here is the return team. We are focusing on this player right here. So this error occurs with this player here. And it is a very common error that occurs out on the pickleball courts. And it's an error that's costing you a lot, a lot, a lot of points. And so here's how it works. So there's the serve and then there's the return. Let's assume it's a good deep return hit by the returner. What happens is this player does not make it all the way up to the non-volley zone line. What ends up happening is either they don't come in at all, that happens sometimes, they'll just stand back here and try and play the rally, or they'll come in but get caught somewhere around there. In pickleball, you cannot play a good pickleball uh, game, a good pickleball rally as the return team if you are not making it all the way up to the non-volley zone line or the kitchen line at the time you need to hit your four shot. So what happens is if you're getting caught back here or getting caught in transition, that allows this team to then move forward unimpeded because you haven't made it up and it allows them to come and take this position. If this is what the court looks like at the time that you're having to hit your fourth shot because they fit the serve, the return, the third has been hit, now you're hitting a fourth shot. If the court looks like this on, at the time of the fourth shot, your team, the return team is already in trouble. And there, there's simply no excuses for not making it up. There's no, you know, a, but I thought this or but I thought they were going to attack, whatever it is. You need to make it up to the non zone line. And in a second, I'll give you a tip to make sure you're getting up there. Because of the two bounce rule, you're able to do this. And it's a framework issue that's really important for you to understand in terms of the framework of pickleball. And I'm telling you this, if you really want to understand pickleball, if you want to be able to grow as a player, as a pickleball player, understanding framework is absolutely critical to your advancement. So what happens is when you have this situation on the four shot, you have a team that has the scoring advantage and now you're given a positional advantage against you. That's a very difficult way to play pickleball. If you're the returner, you need to make it up to the non volley zone line so that at the time that you're hitting your four shot, the court looks like this, not what I just showed you where this player is off of this line. And it is simply, there's, there's just no two ways about it. There's no buts here you need to make sure you make it all the way up to the non zone line. And I'm gonna give you a tip in a second. Before I do, I wanna invite you to our mini series on July 20th. It's a free mini series, 90 minute intensive workshop on, the, uh, on losing less and winning more. And we're gonna teach you an ultimate a game plan that you can apply to your game, no matter where you are in your game. If you're early on in your game, this is gonna be awesome for you because you'll avoid a lot of the mistakes that pickleball players make as they progress. If, you still, if you've been playing for a while, this game plan is really going to revolutionize your game. It's going to show you how to play pickleball differently. It's on July, and pick, I should say it differently, differently and better and more powerful. Um, on July 20th, join us for the 90 minute workshop. I'll put a link down in the, in the description of this video. Get your free ticket and join us for the workshop. So the question then is, if I'm this player, how do I make sure, how can I make sure that I'm going to make it up to this line every single time? What you're going to take advantage of is you're going to take advantage of the two bounce rule. What you're going to do is you're going to hit your return to serve high, high over the net, and deep. That'll buy you time to make it up here to the non-volley zone line before you have to hit your four shot. Again, there's simply no uh, excuses, no buts in, in the pickleball strategically in terms of playing this player here and this player back here, or even the two players back. The returning team needs to be all the way up at the non-volley zone line or the kitchen line at the time the four shot is hit, it's imperative you do this. And 
check yourself on it because it is probably an area that you're losing a lot of points and maybe not realizing it. So maybe next time you play, make sure that you're hitting those returns deep enough and high enough that you can make it all the way up to the Nobody's Online before you have to hit your four shot. I hope to see you at the, at the workshop on July 20th. This can be a lot of good information uh, to help you improve your game. And if you're interested in continue learning, I'll put some videos up here and up here so you can continue your progress as pickleball players and continue on your journey. We'll see you in the next video.